Okay, how is everything coming through? Uh, yeah, I had to shrink the screen a little bit um, just to fit everything on one monitor, but yeah, I don't know what it is. The monitor, my second one, it's turning on, but it doesn't seem to be receiving anything from the HDMI cable, so that's another thing I'm going to have to have a look at over the weekend. Ah, yeah, so here we are, back with Morph Girl. Um, it's uh, going to be the final episode, episode two. Hopefully we'll be getting the rest of the six endings. I believe we had three in the last one, and it'll be another three in this one. Although, to my understanding, to get all the endings, you it doesn't matter what choices you made through the story. It all matters on that last um, choice, you know, the one where if you get the knife or you don't get the knife. So, yeah, you know, uh, shouldn't take us very long to do this at all. Okay, so am I coming through all right? Uh, how's the audio compared to the voice? Everything good? Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, all right. So we're going to go ahead and load up our last choice here. There we go. It's waiting for me. What does it want? It hasn't done anything to me yet. It feels like Rebecca. What if it's okay? Maybe I should approach it? But then maybe I should grab a knife from the kitchen first, just to be safe. Okay, so to get the other endings, you have to be kind of wishy-washy. So, if you go and get the knife first, and then pick some of the same options, that's how you get the other endings. Is this game a bunch of in real life footage and acting? Yeah, it's called an FMV game, so the cutscenes are pre recorded. Which is pretty cool because uh, these kinds of games aren't all that common. Night Trap? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so here it is. Um, last time we went ahead and uh, knifed her a little bit, but you'll get different endings if you pick these two with a knife in your hand. We knifed her in the last ending if you want to see that. Or the last episode. Whatever Rebecca was, it was not convinced of my affections for it. It could sense the hesitation in my every action. It could not accept me, and I'm not sure I could have accepted it either. I was subsequently throttled to death for my uncertainty. It's over now. All right, so this was one of the endings. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, man, I should have saved... Uh, oh, well, we'll just... Yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four. So we've seen four endings, we'll be getting the fifth. I hear the sixth ending doesn't become available until you have the prior five. So we'll be getting the fifth here on that next choice. All right, let me see here. Ah. Uh. Give this to your monitor and it will work once more. The monitor is incredibly old. We're talking uh, very, very old. So I, I'm just gonna have to get a new one. I've been meaning to do it. Uh, this one was just a backup anyway. All right, so we'll get the knife first and then... Let's see, let's see. Why was pencil hidden? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. Uh, looking at the comment, it says you can watch the whole movie on the TV. Yeah, I didn't know that, but yeah, it turns out they did put the entire freaking movie on the TV. I'm not sure why that was hidden, though. It was probably a mistake. Thought that the game was done will surely be a short stream. Yeah, exactly. Which times perfectly for me because I just got a Christmas tree today. I'm still decorating and all that. <laughs> still haven't eaten, so yeah. It's gonna be a mercifully short stream for you guys. 
Oh, and Dr. Paladin, thank you for the five dollars. Appreciate that. Okay, here we go. So, if we have the knife in hand, but we reject... I ran away from the thing that claimed to be Rebecca and didn't look back. Telling no one, I fled to the other side of the country. Now, this is similar to that one ending, but I believe it's going to have a different ending. Uh, I fled to the other side of the country to get away from what I saw that night. I moved into an affordable home inside a rural town in the countryside, a place where I thought I might be safe. But it didn't end there. That's weird. This is the same one as before. Hmm. This is the same as the one without the knife. That's so weird. Okay. Well, I guess maybe I was wrong. Because if you add it all up, there's two endings without the knife. There's three endings with the knife. I thought those endings would add together to be the to make the five endings, and then the last ending comes when you have all five. Okay, so this, I'm going to skip through this. This is exactly the same as the previous one. How tall is the tree? It's, it's pretty small. It's only about uh, seven foot. Was there the parts of the story in the first ending you did the stream? Yeah, uh, we did an earlier stream, got three of the endings. This was the same ending as the previous one. Oh, Anissa Castillo. I hope there will be more more games like Lakeview. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to Lakeview. I don't know if it's been updated yet. I've been kind of out of the loop so far. But, uh, yeah. And um, not to mention, there's still a few Lakeview Cavern games I haven't played as well, including a Christmas one, so I may have to do that. Okay, okay, um, tell you what, let's make a few different choices, then by the time we get to this one, um, all right, we're gonna try and skip through these. Hopefully, it'll let me use the, what? Okay, I don't know if you can see that warning, but I just got an alert, and I think the game is dead. Okay, hang on, one second, just one little second. That's not good. Yeah, all I did was try to load up that earlier, or one of the earliest saves in the game, but it didn't like that very much. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe it's because I saved on the tutorial. Probably didn't like that. Uh, or maybe, it's, yeah, maybe it's a ghost crash. Maybe it's Rebecca saying, don't play this game anymore. All right, here we go. There we go, this one worked just fine. That is the last ending. <laughs> yeah, the last ending is where Rebecca shows up and just crashes the game. Not what I meant. When you got an ending, you got part of your wife's story thing. Did you get that one or not? We've been able to read a few of the wife's stories. In the ending where um, we, we stab the ghost, there's like page 11. Um, in the ending where we let it, you know, eat our life away, that's another couple pages. So that's happened a little bit. Well, I hate to tell you guys this, but spacebar, escape, control, um, clicking, it does not appear that I'm able to fast forward through this. Actually, tell you what, I may not have to play through the whole game, but maybe I just have to go back to some of the scenes, like the kitchen scene. She never actually went into the kitchen, you know what I mean? Hmm. This is all the same from yesterday, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, so we'll do the kitchen scene. Someone did suggest that. Although I'm still wondering if I should go back farther just in case whatever decides that ending 
happens before. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Have you tried escape for escaping? Oh yeah, yep, escape, control, space, click. Okay, so this is where she asks you to read her, her stories. Oh wait, don't read this time? Ah, uh, I should have done that. You know what? Um, there's no gear. There's no gear. I'm doing this all wrong. F4 and alt? Yeah, yeah, I bet that would skip the whole game. Ah, uh, there are more endings. There are six total. We've found four, so we're missing two. Tell you what I'm going to do. Just real quick, I'm going to save in my last empty slot, then we're going to go ahead and load up the kitchen. I heard something break in the kitchen. Somebody in there? I don't have time for any of this. Okay, we're going to go in. And don't pull the plug on life support? Yeah. There's nothing here. I was sure that I heard something break in here, but nothing seems to be out of place. Maybe it was nothing? Oh no, the ghost left us a sticky note. <laughs> Me and Rebecca used to write notes like this for each other. She used to leave them so that I would see them before I left for work. Is this some kind of joke? This isn't funny. Only someone who knows enough about me and Rebecca could do something so personal. Even the handwriting looks like Rebecca's. I'm so late for work. How long have you been standing in the kitchen? Okay, so at least we got to see what was up with that scene. And now the question is, it's going to offer me the choice to either answer the phone or not answer the phone. Should I keep on not answering or should I try, I mean, should I keep on answering it or should I not answer it this time? <sighs> yeah, she didn't lock her door, I noticed that. Well, I mean, the ghost is already in the house, you know what I mean? You don't need to lock your door when you've got a ghost in the house. Okay, we're gonna skip through that because that's exactly the same. Don't answer. Okay, so we're not gonna answer this time. Don't answer, gotta be a good worker. <laughs> Watch one of the secret endings just be finishing the freaking report. Okay, I shouldn't answer it. Uh, we'll save over the top slot. That slot is bugged anyway, so. All right, do not. She lives in England. Everything in that house, including the ghost, would be stolen. <laughs> well, hey, you know, if somebody steals your ghost, you know, that, that might be a good thing, huh? <laughs> the ghost is like, aww. Hope we get a voicemail. <laughs> Stay calm. All right, all right. So we'll just go ahead and skip through this. You wouldn't steal a ghost. You wouldn't download a car, would you? She just ghosted the ghost, yeah.
Okay, so we're practically on that final choice there. All right, should we not pull the plug this time? So what do you think? Pull the plug or don't pull the plug? I'll let her suffer. All right, well. All right, we're not going to pull the plug. Doodle a mustache on her and then leave. I don't pull Rebecca. I, I don't pull Rebecca's life support. I pour my heart out to her over the next couple of days. I say sorry for everything I did wrong. I tell her how much I love her and how much she means to me. This isn't for us. This is closure for me. I can see the pain in her eyes and I ignore it. I catch her eyes drifting longfully towards her life support machinery. I ignore it. Rebecca dies from pneumonia five days later. You should have helped her. See, it guilted me when I did pull the plug, and it would guilt me if I didn't pull the plug. Damn, but Rebecca be driving up that energy bill, though. Yeah, yeah. Give her the remote. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the diary would say. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save again. Oh my god. Why did it- it just crashed, are you kidding me? Right before I got to save. Okay, that's cool, I love that. <laughs> this is the, the quality content you guys came for, right? I'm gonna die. That's fine. That's fine. I don't even remember where I loaded last. Oh my god, the last load is... is... I, I shouldn't answer it. Oh my god. This game is making us suffer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll just uh, fast forward, so we're not gonna answer it. It's not as funny without the save files getting deleted, but it's still kind of funny. Uh, why is the subtitle of the game in Japanese anyway? Um, I think uh, the individual who made it, or at least, you know, kind of uh, headed the project, says that it was um, uh, in inspired by movies like Juan and Ringu and all that. So, you know, the Japanese horror. You know... I hate to say it because the game is all cutscenes, but there should be a skip cutscene button here. Okay, I just need to save every spare chance I get just in case it crashes like that again. All right, you know, speaking of which, let's go ahead and save here. There we go. The real horror is living as a Japanese businessman in an economic depression. You know, that's a weird thing. Like, if you watch movies like Back to the Future, Die Hard, it seems like Japan really was a, a powerhouse of business and technology, like, especially during the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s. What exactly happened? It seemed like they were doing so well. Because, I mean, the joke in Back to the Future is that Japan would pretty much own um, the U.S., you know, um, just with the way things were going. 
what happened? Was it any one thing? Does anybody actually know? Because I've always been pretty curious, and nobody I ask seems to know. Alright, so we're not gonna do it. They're still killing it, one of the world's very highest GDPs? Really? Huh. I could have sworn that, you know, that things were kind of not great. Can we say China and call it an explanation? <laughs> Don't forget to save. Yeah, as soon as that gear pops up in the bottom right corner, we're gonna save. Okay, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, okay. Great, awesome. All right. Yeah, so somebody mentioned, like, you can watch Attack of the Giant Leeches on uh, the screen if you really want to. I think you have to do it twice, though. That's weird. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's check the notebook real quick. You lost connection to the chat for a bit there. You didn't miss anything. I just had to replay where I was uh, a second ago. Okay. So the only thing we really changed was that final choice, which was to unplug her. Oh, wait, no, this is not the diary. This is just her writings. Okay. Why are we talking about Japan and watching in a horror gameplay? Um, because the game had, uh, Japanese subtitles and people were wondering why. Ah, uh, table. Okay, that's where the diary is. No, it was about the one in the head in a jar. There's two different movies. One is A Check of the Giant Leeches, which plays in the bedroom, and The, the Brain That Wouldn't Die, which plays in the living room at the beginning of the game. As far as I remember, anyway. You know, it may be having a connection issue with the internet because I chose to put it on low latency. I probably should have done it on relatively low latency, you know what I mean? So it's probably not you, it's probably just me. Although it seemed to work the last time we played Morph Girl. You let me suffer. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so can we leave? Yeah, we're gonna leave. We've already examined everything, so there's not much of a point in staying. Yeah, I guess just for the question of Japan, I was wondering if there was specifically a choice or, or something, you know, a, a wrong move, you know what I mean? Because if they're money deflated or whatever the term is, that's one thing. But it's like, what was the co anime? You can't just blame anime. Actually, anime is probably one of the things keeping them afloat. You know, at least uh, at least in terms of uh, you know weebs from America and, and whatnot buying it. Okay, here we go. It's the final choice. Okay, I'm gonna try rejecting normally without the knife, and then I'll try rejecting with the knife. Okay, we'll try rejecting without the knife. And with all any luck, it'll be different. Mm. 
Okay, rural town then. Rejecting with a knife. The <laughs> solution to every problem in the UK. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this is looking the same. The cause of Japan's crisis is Rebecca. The cause of my crisis is Rebecca. I don't know how to get this last ending. I may have to go ahead and just pause the stream for about three or four minutes while I have a look. Although, oh, this game is kind of obscure. I'm not sure if there's a walkthrough available. Huh. You're late. What did you miss? Absolutely nothing. I can't seem to get this last ending. Okay. So, yeah, this is the one where she decides to go ahead and, and take a dip. I don't know how she's expecting to commit suicide when you can see the, like, away, like, towards the end of the screen. The water's, like... There's a five. There's a five foot drop into the water. What do you think you're doing? You can't drop five feet into the water and expect to die. Is there a secret in the games files like a README? I may have to look. I thought I had it figured out, but clearly not. Okay, so there it is. I've also learned that you don't really get the name of the ending unless you're playing the Steam version, in which case the name of the ending pops up as an achievement. So that's cool. <laughs> it would have been nice for the Itch.io version for them to say what it was called. That would help me keep track of what endings I have and don't have. But that's, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and load and try rejecting with a knife, just in case I was crazy earlier and didn't hit things right. You can drown in a puddle. Depth isn't so important. Right, right. But I think the whole point of, like, jumping off a bridge or jumping into water is, is for the fall to either, like, knock you out or, or something. Because otherwise, you know, y your instincts are just gonna, like, kind of swim, right? Make up your own names for the ending. <laughs> um, Alright, so we have Ghost Waifu. We've ha we have uh, The Water's Fine. We have... Stabbing the ghost. Oh, wait a minute. Don't investigate the bathtub. Don't answer the phone. Oh, I did investigate the bathtub. Did that one little little thing screw me out of the other ending? Shoot. There was a fourth one we had, right? Oh, um, ghost kills us. Ghost strangles us or whatever. Yeah, this is the same. This is the same, and I'm not going to sit through that again. Yeah, okay, this is the same. Now, somebody suggested that to get the other ending, don't investigate the bathtub and don't answer the phone. Oh, to get this ending, you need to dismiss any interest or curiosity regarding the Rebecca figure. Don't investigate the bathtub, don't answer the phone. Oh, no. Okay, so that one little choice. All right, I'm going to quit the game and just restart it because I'm not going to sit through that cutscene again. All right, guys, sorry about that, but we'll just have to go through the... I think it was a, a midpoint of the game, right? Good thing I was really attentive with the saves. I can skip right to it, I think. This means the whole game from the start. Yeah, exactly. Alright, here we go. Let's see, a few days. There we go. This is the first choice here. No, we're gonna leave. So that's when the first water appeared in droplets, right? It's only been 30 minutes, plenty of time. Yeah, see, I figured this would be such a short episode since we were right at the end, but nope. I don't know what was in the bath, but whatever it is, I need to forget about it. I can't be thinking about this right now, not this week. I have some time before I leave for work. I can collect myself in the living room. I can pretend that everything's all right. It isn't. All right, so we, we're just going to put our blinders on, completely ignore everything. Okay, so we're gonna check the. Let me die. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we're almost through with this scene. 
If you just skip through everything, I'm sure it flies by pretty quickly, but, you know. <sighs> hey, John Smith. Uh, today's Saturday, right? How's your Saturday going? There we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save right here. Now, the question is, when the time comes, should I bother getting the knife, or should I just reject? Cold as usual, it's still snowing? Wow. Are a lot of people getting a lot of snow? It was so hot outside that I was in short sleeves and shorts today, so, you know, yeah, that's how it is in the south. <laughs> Ending 6, just watch the whole movie on TV. Ghost loses interest in you, and you get fired. <laughs> uh... Is skipping really an option, though? Should probably just go through all the dialogue again, just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, how's Australia right now? I think, don't you guys have seasons at different times? Or is it hotter now than ever? Chillier? How's that going for you? Oh, well, she found out there was a problem with the tub anyway. 90 degrees in New Zealand, huh? Yowzer. Okay, we're not gonna bother calling anybody. Because it said, or Firewall said, that uh, the guide recommends just ignoring everything, so... Wait a minute. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Do not. <laughs> I'm sure it'll resolve itself. I mean, it's just a bathtub full of blood, you know, whatever. Oh, there's, um, there's some boobage here, some side boob. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of YouTube these days, so uh, we're going to go ahead and just put that on. But you can see her walk past the doorway. That's what you guys missed last time. Yeah, there we go. You think that bathtub blood has any monetary worth? Turns out it's oil, and she could sell it to a tycoon for millions. Kind of thin and clear for blood water. Yeah, more than likely for the purpose of filming, they probably just like threw, I don't know, dye in there. There's probably something easily, um, that easily tints water dark. We have kind of a desaturated, uh, looking, uh, filter on it, so it could be any color, really. It's hard to tell. Alright, you know what? We're gonna pick different options this time. Oh, wait, I wonder if choosing here has any impact on if we get that ending or not. Huh. What did we pick last time? This almost feels like a new question, actually. Didn't say anything about it, so I, I assume that it, it's up to our, our discretion. Do you guys remember what we picked last time? Um... Let her stay. We let her stay. Okay, in that case, we're going to go ahead and pick the, the other one. I tell Rebecca that it isn't her decision to make. I'm the one working to pay for our rent. She chose this house. It's my turn. Rebecca reluctantly agrees. She doesn't speak to me for hours until we get an urgent call about a test result. We drive to the hospital in silence. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> it's terminal. Rebecca's dying. Yeah, that was new. Wait a minute, did it skip forward? I 
I think it's skip forward, right? Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like we just skipped forward a whole bunch. Oh, the choices you need to make to unlock this ending should result in the game's shortest possible playthrough. Oh, <laughs> well, that is wonderful news. Gee. Okay, I thought I was imagining it. Thanks for making sure that I'm not crazy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save there. Alright, we're totally gonna ignore the ghost bumbling around our kitchen. There we go. Make sure to save. Yep, yep. Got it taken care of. I wouldn't have minded more content, but the problem is, when you can't skip, replaying the entire game kind of feels a bit uh, like a chore more than anything. If I could just hit the skip button and it would skip me through the cutscenes and I could just do that until it brings me to the questions, you know, you know, like in visual novels where you can just hold control and then if you've already seen the dialogue, it zooms through it. And then if you hit new dialogue you haven't already seen, it kind of just, you're unable to skip through it. I really like that because that means you can't skip anything you haven't seen. You can easily just jump forward places you have been. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, all run. <laughs> Okay, we'll go ahead and save there. I love how she looks at the phone like, wait a second. That was weird. <laughs> so a visual novel spooky game. Actually, people have been recommending a specific kind of visual novel scary game. Um, we actually had a look at the Steam page a while ago. If you're looking for something like that, I, I'm sure somebody remembers what it's called. It was like a sequel just came out. It's about like a paranormal investigation that's set in Japan or whatever. It's something I'd want to look into, but it does feel very long. No, we're not gonna answer it. Your comments didn't go through? Hmm, that's a shame. If you just want to put them here again, I'll have a look. I do glance over at the comments uh, pretty quickly, I think. There's always Danganronpa. I plan to play that, um, probably not for the channel, but probably uh, privately, you know, just that way, you know. It seems like the game to play just by yourself rather than like as a big feature. I'll just call the police, change the locks, and forget that any of this ever happened. Everything will be fine, normal. Well, I'm glad I looked. That felt like new dialogue, didn't it? Here we go. Rebecca's pissed that we haven't been stay uh, paying attention to her. Did we play Life of Cabin 6? If that's the one in space, I haven't played it yet. It isn't Rebecca. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have to re-examine the things in the room, so... I'm gonna, um, we've already seen what happens when we leave the plug and when we pull the plug. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, pull the plug this time, because if she's taking on the personality that she's just, you know, ignoring things and, you know, um, maybe she just wanted to be done with Rebecca in this playthrough, I don't know, but we're gonna just pull the plug. Or maybe not pulling the plug counts as ignoring Rebecca as well. <laughs> uh, did the, did the guide specify if I have to pull the plug or not? Third option, smother her with a pillow. Pull her to her feet, put a machete in her hand, and then let her let her fight it out in an arena. Okay. You've been binging videos? Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming by, Taylor. Nope, it didn't it didn't say anything? Okay, okay. Well we're just gonna we're gonna do nothing, because that's what we we've been doing this entire uh playthrough. So uh yeah. Okay, Saturday. We're already at the end of the week. 
point a gun at her head and say a funny one-liner. Oof. Okay, here we go, the final choice. We're so close. Wait a minute. It skipped, um, it skipped uh, us examining stuff in the room. So we never had the chance. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I sincerely doubt they actually put real blood in the bathtub. They probably didn't even do the fake syrupy stuff. They probably just put some tint or some dye in the water. So it's, it's you know, it acts like water. It's thin like water. It's not very viscous, but, you know. Okay, I lied. They did give us the scene where we can look around. All right, we'll go to the table. All right, we'll just leave. I don't think we actually have to read anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I can leave already. Leave. There we go. I know in the old black and white movies, I, I believe they used to use fake blood as um, Hershey's chocolate syrup because it looked very stark and very dark. And because it was black and white, nobody could tell that it was actually a dark brown rather than a, a dark red. But I don't know what they used here. These days, I don't know what they use either, come to think of it. Wish there was an option at the end to just walk out. Uh, I, technically we can, but the ghost follows us. <laughs> in fact, we're about to walk out in this, uh, in this ending here. Time to see if the guy is telling the truth. So far, I bet he is because he was correct. It's skipping over parts of the game because I'm doing this. Okay, um, so wait, should I be getting the knife, or should I just be... Did I need the knife for this ending? I probably need to leave and not look at anything. You're right, you're right. If we get a knife, that we would be acknowledging. So we, ha we don't have a... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go in and then just leave. Just walk away? Yeah, we have to go in in order to, to leave, I think. All right, time to reject. I ran away from the thing that claimed to be Rebecca and didn't look back, and that was the end of it. Okay, I think this is new dialogue. All of it. Okay, here it is. Gee, thanks a lot. This is the fifth ending. She's holding a book. Huh. I moved to the other side of the country to get away from the thing that broke into my house that night, to move on from Rebecca's death. I went on to publish Rebecca's collection of short stories in her stead. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, authors sell better when they're dead. Same thing with uh, painters. Although it does feel weird to, to profit off of it. If I were her, I, I would have... Um, not kept any money because it feels very, very dirty to do that. Um, I would have done it so like the proceeds, all of them just go to like fighting cancers and charities. Otherwise it makes it look like she gave her a hard time, never supported her in her writing, and then just profited off the writing. Oh well. I went on to publish Rebecca's collection of short stories in her stead, just like she always wanted. I never did see Rebecca again. I'm glad. The Rebecca that I loved is gone, but I will never let her be forgotten. Her stories are so good, everybody seems to think so. 
They're doing really well. And so am I. Okay, so this is the fifth ending. There is a sixth ending, but to my understanding, you have to get all the previous five endings first. And then, let's see. I believe we just try to start a new game, right? Rebecca is always just in her peripheral vision. Was she? I didn't see her in this one, but I mean, in the other endings, probably. Okay. So, we should be able to play, and it'll have a new ending. She wants them ghost royalties. Okay. I think that's new, right? So it said this was the true ending. So, it's not just a random ending here. And that's the ending where we died. Guess you could say she has a ghost writer. <laughs> She's dead all along. You think so? Kind of like a, a Sixth Sense twist. What, was that it? Morph Girl does not auto-save. When visible, use the... Was that the last ending? I think that was quite a bit different than the first one, right? Yeah, and then it just kind of launches into this. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that was... I didn't see that the last time. I can't get out of this screen quite yet. All right, let me just have a look real quick. We'll go ahead and um, have a look online. Make sure that that was the right thing, right, right? Okay, let me see here. I'm pretty sure that was new. Does anyone remember that intro when we started a new game last time? Let's see. Let me go ahead and half the... I, I still can't... I don't have my second monitor, so I'm going to have to... It's new? Okay, so that was new. Huh. Well, what does that mean, then? How is that a new ending? Wasn't it... Although, to be honest, it seemed like a splice of the ending where the ghost kills you, and then the ending where you, you publish uh, Rebecca's stuff. Hmm... What about the true ending is that you're dying and Rebecca is trying to help you? Let me see. Somebody's got to have some information on that. Ending explained. For it. Forget it. I'm not proud. Um. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Some people have been discussing the true ending. Um. Okay. Interpretation of the training. Elena had accepted Rebecca, which resulted in her eventual death, as per a toxic relationship. The bad ending. Okay, well, I didn't get to see the names of the endings, but I guess a toxic relationship is the one where we get our soul sucked by living with the ghost. But in her final amendments, had also come to peace with herself and the circumstances surrounding the death of her wife as per moving on. The good ending. Okay, so the good ending is called moving on. Uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe the Steam page. Yeah, that's where I am. I'm having a look. Let 
what did you guys, what kind of uh, vibe did you get from it? I recently got it after getting all the other endings. The last ending I got was moving on and simply clicked play when back in the title screen. Yep, that's what we did in order to um, bring up that last, uh, quote-unquote, last ending, yeah. Huh. Well, I, I get the feeling, I mean, the whole thing's clearly kind of a metaphor, right? But that last ending, you know, the quote-unquote true ending, how was that any really any different from... Well, I guess it was different because, again, it showed you dead in your bed. The true ending has the moving on, but it also shows Elena dead in the bed. Huh. All right, let me try one more thing. Um, we'll just go on for another five minutes or so, see if I can figure this out. Someone's got, yeah, that seems to have been it, for better or for worse. Okay, they've got a bonus here. It looks like a big YouTuber played it here. From the top. Maybe somebody More. in the... Oh, gosh. Vasimet, really love your stream. Keep up the good work. Well, I'm glad you liked it. The stream was uh, kind of nuts, but um, I am glad you had fun. That's amazing. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got something here. So, uh, this has a lot of upvotes, so a lot of people seem to be thinking the same thing. The final true ending doesn't show Elena's face at the bridge, whereas the happy ending, it's similar, but has a shot of Elena's full face overlooking the water and smiling. Yeah, I think that might be the clue hinting toward the true ending being that the monster took Elena's identity after killing her. Yeah, so when we, um, in the last ending, it didn't show her face at all, except when Elena was dead in the bed. Huh. Everyone's saying that it looks like because the the title is Morph Girl, the ghost or the parasite or whatever it is morphs into people. So they're thinking at the end, rather than you know staying morphed as uh, Rebecca, they're th they're thinking that the ghost morphed into Elena at the end and then is profit profiting. So. Cribbing off other YouTubers? No, no, just their comment system. Just their comments. It doesn't look like the YouTubers have any idea what's going on either. Um... Okay, the name of the game is Morph Girl. The true ending is the only one that explains the name. Elena is dead and Rebecca morphed into her. So I'm not sure if, Rebe if it's actually Rebecca's ghost or if it's a parasite that takes on people's appearances and mannerisms. I think the game is mostly about dealing with grief and can be taken metaphorically, but the true ending makes it back to the, takes it back to the supernatural. Basically, it says that you thought the good ending was the real one, but in what you didn't know was that Elena was dead, and the girl you thought was Elena was in fact Rebecca, who took revenge and finally got to sell her book like she always wanted. Huh. Should morph into a Power Rangers game. You wonder if the Japanese name is actually Morph Girl? Ugh, well, if my katakana weren't so crap, I could probably have a look there. Um... Let me see here. Okay, the first three characters, no idea. I'm, I'm terrible at those. But that's definitely um, a ka, but when it has that thing there, it's a ga. Wait, I can't see. It's too small. Sorry. I can only see it by looking at the streaming theme. So it's either a ka or a ga. And then that little line kind of like lengthens the syllable. I think it's ru? I have no idea. It's been a long time since I've looked at Japanese, so just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend I didn't just do that. Um, the monster eventually kills Elena like it does in other endings and takes her form. I mean, the game's called Morph Girl. Plus, it originally took Rebecca's form as well, so it's hardly a stretch to imagine it could do the same to others. Also, not showing the face of an imposter is a super common trope in a lot of media. It's odd none of the guys mentioned it. Hmm. Okay, well, actually, I guess that kind of explains it. How many language languages do I know? Barely one. Barely one. Mufu Giru? <laughs> I guess that's the, the, the sounding out of it. Mufu Garu. <laughs> 
I guess it's like a, a literal sounding out of the title. Otherwise, they'd put like Kanojo at the end, which is girl in Japanese or something. Oh, well, you know what? It was a relatively shorter stream, um, but it looks like it's coming in right around an hour. We finally did finish Morph Girl. Got it for sale um, on the Black Friday deal, but otherwise it seems to usually be around $4. Um, there wasn't too much to it, but the thing is, the whole point of the game was that it was entirely FMV-based, which I think is incredibly impressive, so I'll be pretty forgiving about it. And it clearly did have choices, and your choices did matter to some extent. Um, but yeah, I, I'd like to see more FMV games as well. I think that's a, that's a kind of a fun blending of, of two mediums, you know, being movie making and game making. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, next time, and I do plan to stream tomorrow, we're going to be doing, um, let's see. You know what? We're going to be doing that old Flash game I got really nostalgic for, um, Heist, A Thief's Nightmare, and then maybe the sequel. It depends on how long it takes us. So um, if you're ready for, you know, a blast from the past, we're talking like 12, 13 years ago. That's what we'll be doing. I thought you weren't streaming tomorrow? Not tomorrow, Sunday. Usually I'm pretty available on Sundays. Let's see. All right. Well, I think that's just about it. Uh, my stomach is uh, loud, so I'm going to go eat something, and I hope you guys have a good Saturday, and hopefully you'll be here on Sunday if you can make it. We'll be playing that uh, kind of a brutal Flash game. Um, and yeah, that's it for Morth Girl. All five endings, including the sixth true ending. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.